story the way. Oh, 
As of now, I would like to invite our new officials to kindly be seated here at one and for our media partners to settle down as we proceed with our program. As of now, I would like to invite everyone to kindly stand for the invocation to be followed by the singing of the Philippine National Anthem. Department of Environment and Natural Resources, National Capital Region. 
On behalf of the DE and our family, I warmly welcome you all at the Maxas restaurant for, the, for a very momentous event. Thank you for accommodating our invitation and guests. Please give a round of applause for EMBS CROIC Chief of Environmental Monitoring and Enforcement Division, Engineer Gene Sibarman. To our Assistant Secretary for Field Operations, uh, Luzon and Desires Engineer Gilbert C. Gonzalez, our beloved uh, Regional Executive Director, Mom Jacqueline Tran Tran, our, our ARD for Technical Services, Ignacio Almira, ARD for Ad Administrative uh, Management for um, Manuel D. Escasora, and our media partners, uh, colleagues, uh, guests, is a makalikasan araw po sa inyong lahat. As the Bureau tasked with protecting, rehabilitating, and conserving our natural resources, we are delighted that we have a whole community supporting our mandate in monitoring and improving the water quality in the National Capital Region. Spearheading a project that continues to aim uh, to improve our water system and recognizes the best practices of local government units in keeping the waterways clean and trust free, the NCR has paved the way in involving the smallest units of the community to achieve one goal, to keep our stairs and water bodies clean and trust free as part of an even greater goal, the ongoing rehabilitation of Manila Bay. Let me briefly share our journey in this rehabilitation of Manila Bay. Uh, since we started to measure the coliform levels in our stake out water quality monitoring stations along the Bay Area, the measured coliform levels and other water pollution indicators were astronomical. We have areas we have as billionaires and millionaires in terms of the measured most probable number of coliform per 100 milliliter of water. In the 2017 data, the, co the fecal coliform level of one portion of the station measured 1.4 billion MPN per 100 ml. This high level of fecal coliform is why the bay remains unsafe for bathing. Potential health risks abound for individuals exposed to this water, such as typhoid fever, viral and bacterial gastroenteritis, and hepatitis A. With the collaborative efforts of our local government units, other government agencies, our committed and dedicated sterile rangers, and the uh, resilient river warriors, along with other interventions that has been introduced, a significant drop of fecal coliform levels were measured compared to that of 2017 data. It is undoubtedly rewarding to see the differences that we have made throughout the years. Although we still have a long way to go to reach the ideal water quality level of our rivers, steros, and the Manila Bay, we are optimistic that with the joint action we are putting to clean up our waterways and keep them trust free, our water bodies will become safe for contact recreational activities. In the third year of the Gawad Tadeo search for the most improved stereo in Metro Manila, uh, we well, we dubbed it now as DPI version 3, may we see the ripple effect that it has instigated, the cyber chain needed to create large-scale social chains where we can co-create an environment that supports individual chains. And indeed, well, can create a chain reaction that stimulates chains within their environment. We know that GTI has already inspired an LGU in having their own version of the award. As Senator Cynthia Villar said during the last year's awarding, uh, we clean one step of one river at a time, and eventually we will have a cleaner Manila Bay. And so we would like to commend this initiative of the DNR-NCR headed by your red Jacqueline A. Kanjan, 
We wish to congratulate Red Jackie and the DNR NCR family for this successful program. I would also like to take the, this opportunity to pledge the continuous and full support of EMB NCR to Gawat Tagailog search for the most improved Estero and Manila and provide any assistance within our mandate that they would need from us. Incidentally, I am also the 2019 president of the Water Environment Association of the Philippines and although I am not anymore part of the Executive Council, I promise to love you for the continuous support of Way Up to this program. Again, a pleasant morning to everyone and may this event continue to inspire us to move for the betterment of the environment. Thank you. one of the DNR, uh, DNR's most challenged regional offices, she has managed to level up the performance for the, of DNR NCR for years now with her own brand of the democratic style of leadership. Ladies and gentlemen, a warm up applause for the DNR NCR Regional Executive Director, Jacqueline Thank you, Micah, for the kind introduction. Uh, isang mga kaligasang pagbati po sa ating lahat na nandito ngayon. Una sa lahat, I would like to acknowledge muna no, the, our media partners who are present here. Siyempre, ang, from the TV, ang ating uh, lagi nandyan, SMNI, uh, PTV, PTV4, 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 no? uh, PTV4, and uh, GNN, Golden Nations Network. And then from the PTV media, dito rin po Manila Standard, Philippine Star, Remate, Pinyon, Deepos Balita, Saksi Inquirer. And from the radio naman, ang DCRJ, DWAD, at ang Radio Avila. And sa mga online naman natin, of course, yung mga DNR uh, uh, partners na mga vloggers, no, na lagi nandiyan din na nag-provide na, na, na information on uh, online, on the digital platform. As well as the Philippine News Agency, the Leaders News PH, uh, Newsbreak Balita, Rappler, Global Daily Mirror. Ayan, maraming maraming salamat po sa pagpapaunlak ng imitasyon na naibinigay namin sa inyo no, for this day's event. So, this, uh, ngayon po ay eh, nasa fair. Alam naman natin pag fair. We are all busy preparing for the coming holiday season. In fact, it is the longest uh, celebration of the Christmas season ng sa Pilipinas. Now, but do you know that this month of November, we are celebrating three environmental events. So ano-ano po yun? Ito po yung National Environmental Awareness and Education Month, which is being celebrated every November, ang Clean Air Month, at saka po yung National Climate Change Consciousness Week. No? So all these three events, ay, uh, ang aim po nito is to create awareness on the importance of protecting the environment and the natural resources. Para po saan? Para sustainable po ang growth natin at development ng ating bansa. So here in Metro Manila, we are focused on the immediate concern on the clean up and rehabilitation of Manila Bay. As we all know, Manila Bay has been suffering from the de decade of mismanagement and neglect. No? Napapabay. Actually, hindi napapabayan but because of the development, doon po nag-uugat no, ang, uh, ang ating problema. Uh, uh, because of uh, Metro Manila, yung, yung population natin, yung rapid growth, and also the development, talagang uh, meron pong uh, impact ito para sa ating kalikasan. Once called the Pearl of the Orient, the bay including the cities and municipalities that surround it was depicted a tropical paradise during the Philippines. So, sino po ba dito ang na, na ano? Ay, ako hindi. Joke lang po, 1950s, no? So, panahon yun, ang ganda po talaga na ating Manilipay, the sunset, and everything na po yung mga, mga promenaders, no? Saka yung mga kumapasya, hindi pa po, uh, natatanda ko na maliit pa ako, uh, pag daw may ubo, 
dinadala sa Manila Bay para baka lakap ng 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 hangin ng dagat no at nakakadaling ng ating mga karamdaman. So yan po ang ating gusto natin na kahit we will not be able to restore but at least we will we will be able to again uh, mapalinis po ang mga rehabilitate natin ang Manila Bay. So in term po uh, ng, ng ng DNR launch ng Battle for Manila Bay noong 2019 siguro po marami sa inyo ang nag-join no na nag-barcha doon sa sa Ross Boulevard to launch this and then so, sa suporta po ng DNR National Capital Region ni launch po namin yung Gawad Taga Ilog the search for most improved estero of Metro Manila a year after so it started noong 2020 na nag-run, nag-award tayo ng 2021 Gawad Tagailog 1.0. So year 1 po yun. And then the following year, nag-award po tayo early part of this year. So now we are launching the Gawad Tagailog year 3 or we call it GTI 3.0. So region-wide uh, competition, meaning dito po sa National Capital Region. At nakakuha na po to, no, na nakapag uh, steadily gain the support and participation of local governments of Metro Manila and other stakeholders at sumasama na rin po mga partners natin to support this. No? So as we launch today the third round of Gawad Tagalog, we humbly ask our friends from the media to help us disseminate and promote the search to as many barangays in Metro Manila as they can reach and educate the public on our shared responsibilities in taking care of the environment. I am emphasizing the word shared, meaning hindi lang po uh, responsibilidad ng DNR, hindi lang po responsibilidad ng, ng gobyerno or ng pamahalaan, but kasama po ang ating local government units, hindi lang po yan din, but ang pinakamahalaga po ang komunidad ang ating community, especially along waterways. So, shared responsibility po ang gusto namin i-emphasize. No? And then, we make this plea in the context of the implementation as well of the Manda Mandanas Garcia ruling on full devolution. While admittedly, the local governments were not impeded in the case of the MMDA versus concerned residents of Manila Bay, Yung landmark case which eventually led to the issuance of the Rito of Continuing Mandapos of the Supreme Court on the cleanup and rehabilitation of Manila Bay in 2008. Their role as protectors ang ating mga local government units po, uh, protectors of the environment and in solid waste management, takes the center stage in the latest ruling of the High Court. So napakalaga po yung solid waste management. Ano? So, uh, with, the, with, with this, uh, the DNR National Capital Region shares the view that the key to resolving many of the region's environmental issues, the cleanup and rehabilitation of Manila Bay and its tributaries, lie in the empowerment and autonomy of our local governments. For this purpose, we will continue not only in providing policy and technical support to local governments, but in institutionalizing the activities that formally recognize their efforts. Ito na po yun, efforts nila. Sila po talaga on the ground ang gumagawa nito. The chief amongst which is the Gawad Tagalino. We also commit in the DNR to working closely, to working closely with our local leaders, including those at the grassroots in addressing other related issues. We hope that our friends from both the mainstream and social media will help as in the DNR, the National Capital Region, and the DNR Central Office, ensure the success of Kawat Tagahilo and its other programs, activities, and projects. So, napakahalaga po ang inyong presensya ngayong araw na to dito sa ating, uh, sa ating uh, pagtitipon. No? So, know that the DNR National Capital Region is here to nurture our cities and work for a sustainable future sa pagkakikaw Ako, tayo ang kalikasan. Maraming maraming salamat po. Thank you very much, Red Kaid Kaid. As we continue with the program, let's hear the inspirational message from the OIC Assistant Secretary for Field Operations, Luzon and Visayas, 
Gilbert C. Gonzalez, a round of applause. Makasama sa media na nagpaulak po ng ating mutasyon sa uh, Potenso Press Launch o nagawa at ilog uh, taga-ilog ni Potenso Press Launch. Uh, may maganda ng umaga at kalikasang umaga sa inyong lahat. Um, ito na pang ito nung isa-isa na pang um, medyo aking ngayon na. So, um, really appreciate the presence of everyone now. So actually, uh, marami na unang banggit about why we are holding this uh, recognition for our partners to the Gawadino 3.0. It has been going on for the last three years. This is on the third year. And I've been witness in the uh, last year's, uh, this year's award being selected. So, so we were joined by some big uh, uh, and uh, uh, partners uh, in, in different sectors. I can attest that it is very overwhelming and inspiring for the recognition of the DPA for the DNR and CR partners for the helping us to take this new environment in particular. The water bodies for the DNR that ends up in Manila Bay. So since 2019, since we launched the battle for Manila Bay, we have been able to accomplish and accomplish and achieve over the past three years, no? um, uh, maraming po tayo mga documentation ginagawa niya and we can show to everyone what are the, the milestones. No? But just want to share some of the challenges that we need to confront. So, uh, kagaya po na bangit ka din na isa yung mga issue po natin na ngayon, yung mga domestic seaway na nagaling po sa household. Akay ko po ang pinakamalaking contributor po ng ating Adilitation ng ating mga rivers and tributaries at those sa Manila Bay. Much as we want to achieve talaga na ma-improve po yung water quality ng Manila Bay, but it has to start from the source. So kaya po kami ay nakikipag-ugnayan sa ating mga mga administrationers at saka sa ating mga LGUs na tulungan po tayo na mapatili yung ma-achieve po natin ang mapaganda at ma-improve po yung quality. So there have been initial milestones actually mo. Siguro nang notice nyo sa mga karamihan, mga estero, at mga, mga rivers po natin, the four major rivers that drain sa ating Manila Bay. Malaki po na na-improve sa physical uh, conditions po ng ating mga mga And in fact, we are very um, giving mass attention of involving the partners, the LGUs also partners. In fact, in the previous administration, so we strengthened po yung ating uh, sectoral offices. So we, the EMR created the Metropolitan Environment along in the four sectors of NCR, yung uh, north, uh, south, east, and west, and puna tayo mga sub office dyan, looking into the different uh, concerns that uh, affects on the thing. So um, we have uh, assigned people there, then we have uh, improve yung ating, strengthen po yung ating uh, regular programs and they are close to work with they are close to working with the LGUs. In fact, meron po kami mga nilo-launch ng mga, mga interventions in addressing po yung mga domestic seaways uh, with the water concessioners like what we started in Paranaque for last in this year. So, um, we are very thankful that may mga response po, maganda positive po yung response ng ating mga sectoral partners like industries, yung uh, the academic who are helping us in the IEC, all the that they're doing, the civil society groups, and uh, other government agencies, uh, partners like MMDA, DILG, and the rest of the government agencies who are part of the Mandalus, 30 Mandalus agencies. We are obliged to uh, uh, take all the necessary action and effort for, for, to bring us all together para masunod po natin yung objective of improving the, the conditions of Manila Bay. So as we do it, katama na po yung mga 
mga inland, ating mga inland waters, at the same time po yung ating mga local government, very uh, we are friend, tinatapal respond yung ating mga water So, nabanggit ko nga kanina, marami na rin po mga milestone tayo or able to improve sa mga uh, uh, systems ng ang uh, pag-address po ng issue sa basura. So, some of the some of our LGUs are showing its exemplary uh, accomplishments of this particular aspect. In fact, um, some LGUs like Filipina and, and some um, some uh, local governments in the Middle Metro Manila have already introduced from a basic prevention and skills, and then they have put up their own facilities. So basically, um, malaki na po ang na-religious po natin in terms of uh, in the generation po na ating so so, yung gawat ito po ay is just one way of uh, giving recognition to sa ating mga sa katulong dito sa effort nito. And sabi ko nga, for the last two years, NCR has been very successful in encouraging the LGUs and other sectors to join us in attending all these issues. So, we have to give also credit to the uh, officials and the uh, for people in the PNR and CR, so pamuna po direct jockey, who have initiated all these um, awards and recognitions uh, giving to all these partners. So, we just hope na magpapatuloy po natin sa tulong po ninyo na makakaitigyan uh, natin sa media, masubaybayan po natin kung paano po nakakatulong natin itong mga iba pang sector. In every little way that we're doing and contributing, I'm sure po, um, this will multiply and this will, uh, in, in, law, in in certain exponential rate, baka we can be able to achieve in the near future po na ma-improve po tayo na tayo ang mga mag-i-tay. In fact, um, although may mga tayo may encounters that solid waste is still a challenge, but uh, I'm sure everybody is conscious. There are There is a need for investments on this. We, need, we are introducing some support. Uh, through our budget and, and uh, the department through, through our new secretary, since Secretary uh, uh, Tony Yulida is uh, uh, making pronouncement how to really undertake all these programs in, in high level of efficiency and coordination with all the sectors. But this is really a great challenge. Uh, since the enactment of the environmental laws, which were implemented, Todo effort na po tayo, even the limited uh, constraints and capabilities that we have, but still, uh, nakita ko namin yung kunting thing of progress. So, um, when we started in the last 30 years, kumpara ko natin, marami na ko na achieve. There are so many people already participating in community, which really needs um, some part on their back. Doon sa mga ginagawa. So through the Gawa Dilog, in a very small way, we'll be able to recognize all these sectors. Even in other regions, po, ganun din ginagawa nila. Um, I came from different regions, they were designed in, in Carpanzon, in, in uh, Region 7, in Region 5. Meron po talaga mga ginagawa ng issues. This is very, our simple way of thanking everyone who has helped us one way or another in uh, improving the conditions of our environment and making our communities more livable and safe. So yun po, maraming salamat po sa inyo at sana po magkakilawang po tayo lahat at magpapit po ninyo sa ating mga kababayan na lahat po tayo ay nagsisikap na maganda po ang ating mga kapaligiran at uh, maging safe po sa ating mga community. Sana po, maraming salamat po. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Sir Gonzalez. <laughs> Moving forward, let us acquaint ourselves and relieve our memories on what Gawat Tagaylog is all about. Let's have the presentation of the Gawat Tagaylog overview and let's have a look at the winners of GTI and GTI 2.0 to be discussed by the DNR and CR Assistant Regional Director for Technical Services, Engineer Ignacio R. Aguilar Jr. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. I will be presenting to you the past winners and nominees of our uh, novel project, Tungawat Tagaylog. 
first and foremost, uh, uh, hayaan nyo akong i-discuss uh, sa inyo kung ano ba itong gawad na gaino. So, this has been uh, uh, in effect for the past three years, you know, starting from uh, 2020 to 20, uh, until now, no? For 2020 to 2021, we call that GD 1.0 or Gawad Tagailo 1.0. 2021 to 2022, GT 2.0. At sa ngayon, sa kasalukuyan, 2022 and 2023, ay GT 3.0. Pero ano ba itong Gawad Tagailo? Ito ay isang taunang search for barangays and Metro Manila with the most improved estero or waterway using a set of criteria developed for the purpose. So in, this was launched in, 20, in 2020 by the DNR National Capital Region. This search aims to encourage the active participation of Metro Manila residents in the ongoing cleanup and rehabilitation of Manila Bay. So, ang mga nanalo dito are chosen from the nominated waterways of the 16 cities and one municipality in Metro Manila. The nominated waterways are evaluated by a set of competent, reputable, and experienced board of judges. Focusing mainly on the barangay compliance with laws on solid, solid and liquid waste management, aesthetic improvements, participation of the local community in keeping the nominated waterway clean and trust free, partnerships and innovations, and the positive impact on the community as a whole. Bakit nga ba tinawag natin itong Gawad Tagailog? The award is called Gawad Tagailog to pay homage to the Tagalogs the pre-Hispanic group of people who live near the coastal and river areas of the Manila Bay and the close relationship they, they have with its rivers and esteros. The word Tagalog, according to historians, is actually a contraction of Tagailo, meaning river dwellers. In keeping with this name, this team, Gawa Tagailo winners, received a Raha Sulaiman Trophy in addition to cash prizes and other tokens. Sulaiman, according to records, is the first Tagalog chieftain who revolted against the Spanish rule. So here are the winners and the nominees and winners of the past uh, Gawad Tagailog, uh, Gawad Tagailog 1.0 and Gawad Tagailog 2.0. For Gawad Tagailog, the 1.0, the nominees are uh, Amor Solo Creek, located in Makati City, Tartar Creek, Las Piñas City, Hermitage Creek, San Juan City, Estero de Paco in Manila, Sapang Alat River, located in Caloacan City, Pinagsabugan Creek in Malabon and the Stero de San, Santo Nino in Paranaque City Ilang Ilang Creek in Quezon City Mag Magdaong River in Mandaluyong City Amutinlupa City rather, sorry no? So for the winners these are the winners for uh, GTI 1.0. For the second runner-up, the Bacolasa River in, located in the city of Navotas. The first runner-up is the Park Creek 22 city of Marikina, while the grand winner of GTI 1.0 is the Lingunan Creek located in Valenzuela City. So for Gawad Tagailog 2.0, the nominees and winners were first the nominees located in Mandaluyong City, the Maytunas Creek, 
in Pasig City, the Lanusa Creek. In Nabota City, the Estero de Maripaho. While in Taguig City, the Tipas Creek. Tipas River, rather. Likewise, in Caloacan City, the Estero de Maripaho. In Malabon City, the Suco River. And in San Juan City, the Ermitanyo Creek. So the uh, winners for the uh, 2.0 were the fourth runner up goes to the Zapota River in Las Piñas City. The third runner up goes to the Polo River in Valenzuela City. While the second runner up is the Park Creek 23 in Marikina City, while the first runner up is in. Uh, It's a tie, rather, yes, sir. It's a tie. No? In Makati City, the three party galina, galina, and in the Pasay City, the Estero, the three party galina, kasi dalawang location ng uh, uh, three party galina, nagka-traverse siya sa Pasay at saka sa uh, Makati City. Yeah. While the grand winner of the GTI 2.0 is the Estero de San Miguel in Manila. So thank you very much. Thank you very much, ARD National Art Theater Junior from the NRNCR. From the presentation of the overview of Gawa Taleguido and up to the prominent leaders of GTI 1 and 2, let us now watch the official teaser for the GTI 3.0. Road PPR, please. Ladies and gentlemen, that signifies the launching of Gawa Tagaino 3.0, search for the most improved estero in Metro Manila. Aside from re re recognizing the efforts of the local government units, but in guys in particular, another objective of this contest is to encourage change in the attitude and outlook of Metro Manila residents on their role in keeping and maintaining waterways clean. Now, let's lay down the guidelines and criteria for judging for this year's competition. This segment will be presented by the DNR SCR Assistant Regional Director for Management Services, Manuel E. Escasura. Thank you. Magandang mga po sa ating lahat, mga kasama sa mga kapatid na mga kasabihin dyan, mga kasama po po dito sa presidential table, so, alam, na, alam po naman natin na uh, for every contest, there must be rules or guidelines and criteria for judging the same manalala. So, I'm going to present the guidelines and criteria for judging search for the most improved estero in Metro Manila. Sino at papaano sumali dito sa ating contest? So, all LGUs of Metro Manila are automatically qualified to join. The DNR National Capital Region, through its concerned Metropolitan Environmental Office, will send a formal invitation to the local chief executives of the 16 cities 
and one municipality in national capital region. The local chief executive or his duly designated representative shall be given time to, name, to nominate one stero or waterway within their jurisdiction and submit the same to the, to the NRECR using the Gawad Tagailog nomination form with geotag photos of the nominated waterway or stero. The stero nominated must at least be 500 meters in length, readily accessible for purposes of validation and documentation, and located exclusively with the LGU concern. All nominated steros will go through a screening process to be conducted by the Board of Judges with the assistance of the concerned Metropolitan Environmental Office. For the, build, for the field validation, the Board of Judges will be joined by the concerned Mayor or Metropolitan Environmental Office and concerned local government. The search will run from November 2022 up to February 2023. The, award, the awarding ceremony will be held on March 22, 2023, in time with the celebration of World Water Day or World Water Day or week. What are the criteria for judging? All nominated stereo waterways will be judged according to the set criteria based on the four clusters stated in the operational plan for the Manila Bay Coastal Strategy. Lima po yung criteria natin. One, yung solid waste management, constituting 25%, liquid waste management, 15%, informal settlers and illegal structures management, 15%, habitat, and uh, Habitat and Resources Management, 20%, and Sustainability and Partnership Management, 25%, for a total of 100%. For Solid Waste Management, which is 25%, these are the specific categories. So, uh, it must be fully functional barangay Solid Waste Management Com Committee. There, uh, we constitute with 20%. Uh, uh, there must be full implementation of segregated collection, 20%. Fully functioning MRFs or MRS, 20%. Implementation of barangay based solid waste management IEC campaign, 20%. Conduct of regular clean up in compliance with IMG MC number 2019. 09, 20%, for a total of 100%. For liquid waste management criteria, they will be judged based on the, on this, on the following categories. Physical characteristics, solubility and saka odor, 20%, or 20 points. Conduct of interventions to improve water quality, for example, yung Bioremediation, also 50%. At least 50% of the total number of households within the barangay inspected with regard to presence of septic tank by the local government unit, 20%. Absence of unregulated livestock, for example, pigs, chicken, ducks, and or white chickens, 15%. Adoption of city, municipalities, seaways, and septic management ordinance, 15%. IEC conducted, that is sludge gym, water management, and prevention and pollution control, 10%, for a total of 100 points. For, for uh, informal settler families and illegal structure management criteria, uh, which is 15%, these are the categories. Huh? Number of ISF 
and illegal structures with legal easement. So 60%. So the remaining 40% will be rated based on maintenance and protection activities of flood areas, 10%. Existing policies to ensure no illegal entrance, 10%. Implementation of interventions, that is, with passes, signages, and others, 10%. Conduct regular IEC to strengthen the maintenance and protection of great areas for a total of 100%. However, if there is a presence of ISF and illegal structures, 60% uh, will go on, but they will be assessed based on the following uh, parameters. Legal instruments delegated, 50%. Census tagging and validation conducted 50%. Conduct of IEC to ensure prevention and protection 50%. Less than 25% of the total length of water was occupied by ISM and with illegal structures 50%. So 60%. So the remaining 40% yung, yung sinabi ko kanina uh, ng mga, mga parameters. So pagtagating po sa, sa informal settlers kung may presence at saka may of ISM. Okay, under habitat and resources management, uh, 20%, uh, this will be the parameters. Uh, each LGU will get 30 points who may establish, who may establish functional and spaces, linear park in terms of food source, reducing noise pollution. So, Aesthetics of urban design, particularly of the creative arrangements of elements, 35%. Attractiveness of the area for experience of physical, mental, and safe space, 25%. And community participation or involvement on the NR3 growing activities or NGO initiated growing activities, 30%, for a total of 100%. Under sustainability and par partnership management, this would be the parameters. So, 10% yung partnership with the neighborhood barangays for the stereo clean up and development. So, kung uh, may formal partnership between barangays, 7 points yun. Kung may regular joint clean up and other activities, at least 4 per year, or, or, or uh, at least one activity per quarter. <laughs> Three points. So another ten percent, your partnership with the community stakeholders or commercial establishments. So, for my former partnership between barangay and stakeholders, six points. For my donations and or, or regular cleanup activities with volunteer partners, two points. Joint clean up and other activities, one to three per year, two points. Okay. Another 10 points, your involvement of Palangay residents volunteers to do stereo cleanups and all stereo related development projects. So, 7 points kung, kung may kung, kung regular activities, at least 4 per year, pero kung 1 to 3 per year lang, 3 points lang. Okay. Another 10 points, yung, if the stereo cleanup and all stereo related development projects and programs included in the barangay's annual budget, annual investment plan, or financial plan. So, type points on. Okay. Uh, another type points, yung stereo cleanups and all stereo related development projects, per headed by or organized for any of these sectors women, youth, PWD, senior citizens. Uh, okay, uh, seven points if at least one of these sectoral groups led or lead the cleanups and all stereo related development projects. And if at least one of these sectoral groups participates in cleanup and all stereo related development projects, three points. So, 50 points if the, if the barangay has an ordinance directly addressing the cleanup and development of stereo. 
hindi naman na ipat bakay. So, 15 points. And then, yung implementation of any innovative interventions or management schemes related to sterile cleanup and or development projects, 15 points. So, the last 20 points, yung adapted IEC activities related to following. It is for habitat, cleaning, and biodiversity time points, and they utilize the social media and IEC promotion and communicating uh, constituents regarding any of the above sectors on ways, ways, habitat, cleaning, and biodiversity time points for a total of 100 points. Okay. Ano yung mga awards at, at state? Uh, in addition to the regular rankings, which go from third runner-up to grand champion, may, mayroon tayong additional awards, yung best in. O kung sino yung mag-best doon sa, for example, doon sa best sa solid waste, base sa liquid waste management, base doon sa ISF, sa families and illegal structures management, base doon sa habitat, and habitat and resources management at saka yung sustainability and partnership management so may kanya-kanyang award doon kasi naman yung oh, okay also the DNR National Capital Region uh, Yung mga partners organizations will be encouraged to present their own special awards as part of GPI 3.0. Each partner is required to develop their own set of guidelines based on the environmental mandate of their own organization. So, may mga partners dito, sa mga kamarate, for example, yung Des Incorporated, the Gilead Water Services Incorporated, and the Gilead Water Company. So, who would be the Board of Judges? The chairperson of the Board of Judges for 2022-2023 contest would be the, the former DNR Assistant Secretary and former Regional Executive Director of DNRCR, Corazon CJB. So, mga members of the Board of Judges are the Assistant Regional Director for Management Services. The EMB is the Regional Director. The, the Executive Director of the Manila Bay Coordinating Office. The Director of the Climate Change Service of the ENR. The Regional Director of the IND SCR. And we have also representative from Academ. Uh, from UB, and then your representative from Vet and from Great Vet, and then also from Manila. Manila, Manila, Manila. So that's all. Thank you very much. As we were discussing the GPI 3.0 guidelines and criteria for judging. I know by this time, everyone already has already some questions that they want to ask our panel. So we have prepared one microphone for the table. But before we proceed with the Q&A, let me read some few house rules for everyone's information. So first, overall program is arranged for two hours to give up all time for the presentations and Q&A. Please be courteous to the speakers and to your fellow, fellow journalists. Wait until you are called before pitching your questions. Once properly addressed, kindly state your name and affiliation, then your question. Each reporter or blogger may raise a question relevant to the event or the Manila Bay Rehabilitation Program. You may be allowed up to one quick follow-up or supplementary question to also yield the floor to other journalists. Lastly, if you wish for a one-on-one -on -one interview with our officials, please coordinate with our media liaison, Mr. Arizona Bad from BDNR and SCR. So now, I will officially open the floor for questions. So can you raise your hand for anyone who have questions to our uh, panel? Go ahead, sir. Magandang umaga po. Hello, Mayor. Para po sa lahat, 
successful yung first two years natin ng Gawad Sir, Kagayan. sorry, can you speak your name first? Hi, my name is Chris Tomas from BZRJ. Uh, yun po, yung question ko is, dahil successful yung first two years natin, may posibilidad ba na gawin natin ito nationwide? Oh, the other is not successful. Actually, Manila, Manila, gusto ko eh. Yung binubulong sa kanya eh. The success of what you're doing in NCR, Gawad Kudo. And we know na other regions are also doing the same. We can make this a national competition. Kasi para meron tayo comparison on how these things are being done in other places at the same time. Siguro, magkaroon ng common goal to everybody. So, we really intend to make this a nation goal. As we progress, maybe in the years, year to come or probably the next two years, we can make this a nation goal. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Another question? Go ahead, sir. Hello sir, good morning po. Jason Rubico of SM9 News. Sir, this will be my first question. We all know, gaano kahalaga yung sustainability. Ano po yung ginagawa ng DNR na mga follow-up and follow-ups para may pagpatuloy yung pangangalaga sa mga estero beyond the awarding ceremony. Para may pagpapatuloy para hindi siya ma-stop na. Uh, thank you very much. Ano, uh, talaga napakalaga yung tanong mo eh, di ba? Kasi ito, ito yung awarding like, uh, aling ginawa nung ano ba? How are you going to sustain it? So even without the gawal taga-ilong, kahit wala itong gawal taga-ilong, as part of the phases ng, ng Manila Bay Rehabilitation, meron na siyang phase 3, which is the education and sustainment phase. Meaning, all the activities under Manila Bay Rehabilitation ang mahalaga dito masustain. No? So, tuloy-tuloy yung, yung, yung e -e edukasyon, yung pag... Uh, kasi importante yun, hindi pwede tayo bagay solution lang. So, yung, yung aming uh, SEPA, yung aming activities on continuing education, ang mga IEC, hanggang sa paaralan, sa NGUs, sa komunidad, tuloy-tuloy na ginagawa. At the same time, kasi kailangan may involvement na meron ng sense, uh, kailangan ma-develop natin ng yung sense of ownership amongst the community. Na hindi na siya tumitingin, ah, trabaho yan ni, ni Barangay, trabaho yan ni, ni Mayor. But more on, trabaho natin to, pakalagaan natin kanilang. So yun ang gusto namin ma-invite at ma-develop. In fact, nag-evaluate na kami ng behavioral, uh, behavioral change. Eh. Pinag-aaralan na namin. In certain areas, hindi na namin, nagkagawa na kami study, nagkakaroon ba ng behavioral change, di ba? So yun, isa na yun, no? Pangalawa, yung programa, kasi kailangan din tuloy-tuloy at this last time na kung may kailangan mo na itweak, na sa pagbabago, mag-iiba na yung, yung, yung muka, but at the same time, yung goal mo ay isa, to sustain whatever gains that you have achieved. No? And for the Gawad, specific for the Gawad Tagailog, pinag-usapan din namin to, kasi nagsisearch ka ng, ng, ng most improved estero. No? So ang tinitignan namin, papaano yung mga past winners? ba diba? Past winners. So magkakaroon kami ng category on Uh, uh, winner among the winners. Meron kami separate. Winner among the winners para ma-encourage yung mga dating nanalo na ipagpatuloy nila para ma-sustain nila yung gains nila. So, uh, yes. Until such time, pwede na silang tawangin Hall of Famer. So, itinitignan na namin dito to, na magsa-separate kami ng, ng category on the winners. Kasi baka naman sabihin ng mga bago, no, na most improved. Eh, pananalo na yan eh. So, ito sinaseparate namin to promote as, as well as tinatanong mo na sustain yung mga gains. Yun lang. Maraming salamat. Actually, ma'am, you, uh, uh, you have answered my second question. Kung may napansin ba tayong uh, behavioral change sa ating mga, no, sa ating mga kabulayan. Or, ano lang po, ma'am, for sound bite, ano po, pag-iulit lang po yung sagot natin, ma'am. No? Uh, ano po yung ginagawa natin? May nakakita po ba tayo? For the uh, two years of the uh, po, uh, warding sa mga, ano, sa mga esteros natin, may nakita po ba tayo yung mga behavioral changes sa ating mga residente? Actually, uh, kahit hindi ka pang study, ano, uh, para i-document mo lang, in fact, yung pinesyon kanina ni Asik uh, Gilbert na uh, yung physical, 
In fact, di ba, if you go around, hindi na ganun yung, yung dumi ng mga physical niya. Hindi tayo nag-usap sa water quality pa. Yung physical na natura ng no, no, ating mga waterways, hindi na siya ganun because yung level of awareness meron meron na hindi na uh, nabawasan na indiscriminate dumping ng solid waste along uh, along itong mga, mga waterways kasi usually pag walang makitang takunan o hindi na kokolekta ang basura na sa loob lo, ka, looban ano ang tendency mo sa kokolekta hmm, swak yung habis mo na lang sa sa waterways so yung programa na pinasok namin doon na paano ba na natin natin matutulungan si LGU sa mga areas, yung mga barangay na hindi napapasok ni truck. That's why we provide yung mga waste collector na na try na nag na, na, ano ba incentivize kami through buying your recyclables, tipong gano'n. So yun pa lang, yun na yung impact. And then yung behavioral change, nakikita mo in, in, in yung impact ng ginagawa. And then may mga <laughs> may study ka din naman. I think, I don't, kaya pwede ko i-mention yung area. Kasi ako ba yun? So nagkaroon na study doon. So I think it is ongoing. Yung social and behavioral chase, meron na. And we are going to also do it in other areas. So whatever the results would be, para merong kumbaga science-based, ano, alin, kung magbigay magkakita, meron ba? Meron kami nung meron mapakita, meron kami data na mapapakita sa tao. Not only yung observation, but more on this ay formal study. So may ginagawa kami ngayon on the behavioral chase. Nung pwede ba mag-tend? Okay po ba? Sir, you're just related. Oh, related ako ba? Related. Okay, ito po mga... Last one. Okay, you mentioned a while ago na lang na mahalaga yung awareness, especially sa mga parale. May we know po if meron tayong mga programs na ginagawa for students para lang maano yung awareness nila pagdating sa paglilinis, pag-maintain ng palilisan sa mga estero at sa mga ingot ko. Marami din ginagawa. Isa example natin, marami kaming uh, marami kaming uh, memorandum of agreement na 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 i, na, i, na, na formalize with different schools in Metro Manila, no? Meron kami so kasama ni Tree Growing, kasama na yung component ng uh, uh, enhancement no no paligid solid waste management. And then uh, itong regular din ng aming uh, public affairs o yung RCIC na yung dalong turo na natawag na yung dalong turo kumupunta sila kasi ngayon meron lang face to face na ano diba na pasok so ando din may estudyante so binalik na namin ulit yung dalong turo meaning ang aming team nagpupunta sa paaralan at mabibisitahin sila and then naging part kami ng, ng mga kaalaman learning and as well as mga practices at mga activity so yun yung ginagawa every, every day now No, no, we schedule it ng, ng targets nila na depende sa ano, schools, not every day but I think on a uh, monthly basis, meron mga schools na maselected uh, twice a month daw sa ni yung team na pumupuntahin. So, dalawang turo ang tawag namin doon. Okay? Thank you. Thank you, sir. Yes, go, go ahead. Good afternoon. Uh, Dodong Alan po ng Radio Agina. Uh, who determines the uh, kung anong kung anong ilog o saan ilog uh, ang uh, pipili para isali sa competition? Uh, actually, it's the local government kasi sila yung magsasubmit ng entry. So they identify kung alin yung ipapasok nila as entry. Parang yung nakikita nila na showcase doon sa kanilang lugar at uh, Nakita nila yung nakalagay natin ng mga criteria, no? yung may mga community involvement, and there's significant uh, improvement talaga. And kaya nga, uh, yung improvement talaga yung nakikita, no? yung um, uh, nakasama ako sa validation no? last year. So, masusurprise talaga kayo kung, kung nakita mo na siya previously, and then yung improvement na ginawa nila, like for example, yung mga may na-recover silang easement, Uh, para wag nang balikan, so they transform it into a community vegetable garden, no? So, napakaganda po ng mga uh, makikita nyo kung na, nakita nyo siya ng before and after. Okay, uh, siguro in due time, ano, uh, po pwede kaya na ang uh, GENR na mismo ang mag-determine kasi 
uh, natural lang sa mga LGU sasali nila yung maganda ng ano eh, ilo eh. Pero kung ang uh, LGU ang mamimili, kung ako ang LGU at gusto ko mag-improve yung uh, environment, pipiliin ko yung marumi. Qualified yung pasok doon sa sinasabi yung uh, luwag at laki. Para uh, magsumikap ang LGU na maayos yung maruming ilo. Ano, maruming uh, actually, uh, itong, itong contest na to, itong search na to, open talaga sa lahat ng local government units. No? Uh, why, why we are giving it to the LGUs for them to, to, to see? Kasi sila yung may programa, no? we encourage them kasi owner, you sense of ownership. And then ang inaano natin, most improved. So meron naman tayong documents na alam naman natin talaga waterways natin, uh, yung precondition niya, no? So yung most improved, kaya nga meron tayong criteria validation at pinavalidate na DNR. But uh, yung, siyempre, yung LGUs, tama ka, no? Ipili nila yung, oh. ano, but i, ang ano doon kasi, most improved nga, ito yung ginawa ko to that based on the criteria. Diba? Ayan yung criteria, meron ka nag-set up siya ng MRF na tulad, hindi niya ipupunta yung, yung barangay na along waterways na walang MRF o walang MRS, yung uh, Magira Recovery uh, System. Siyempre, hindi mag-qualify eh, so pipili siya. Ah, ito, ito kasi may component na MRF, so mag-qualify siya. Ah, ito, merong partners, merong may isang kumpanya negosyo dito, sinusuportahan ito. Diba? Yung, 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 halimbawa, sabi natin, yung butika dito, isari-sari store ito, sinuporta ito, barangay ito. So, check sa criteria. So, nag-elimination na that piece sila. In fact, meron ng LGUs because of tagaw at tagailog. May LGUs na na nag-adapt. In fact, uh, pwede ko bang sabihin yun? Ah, pwede. So, hindi naman sikreto. Okay. So, munti lupa. Meron silang munti, munti ilog award at uh, uh, nag-spin off from here. So parang pinaprepare na nila yung mga yung city nila na pag pinasok namin to, meron na kaming entry. Nagpa-contest na sila from within. Okay. Okay. Oo, okay. parang may ganun na. Mm. Di ba? Mm. Oo, na nagkaan na sila na. So yun ang gusto natin, yung multiplier that the LGUs magka-create ng awareness and ah, pwede ako magpa-compete here. Di ba? Amongst barangay. So in fact, uh, this is also uh, kumbaga, inspiration din ito dahil uh, sa DNR din, meron din mga, yung mga improvement na mga urban park. In fact, nakukuha na rin kami mag, mag-judge sa mga gulayan sa paranggay. Mm-hmm. Pasig naman, meron. Ganun. So, na-invite din kami kasi sinusuportahan din namin yung mga, yung mga ganun, a mixture of uh, uh, fruit-bearing trees, tapos uh, 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 food crops. Na-invite din kami, nagpapakonte. So, something like that, yung yung replication ng mga cities. So ang ganda uh, kasi yun naman ang uh, bottom line nito, yun ang gusto natin ma-achieve is gumalaw si local government no. si Barangay. So iyon po sample ko lang po ng Muntilu. Muntilu pa no? Tama ba ang Muntilu pa meron sila? Gawad Muntilu. Opo. Ah, uh, may mga may mayroong mga uh, LGUs na makakapalamuka o di kaya uh, talagang matitigas ang ulo. Uh, I don't think kung mayroon kayong guts nito gagawin at anong kung ano na maaaring gawin ninyo. Kung pwede niya highlight natin yung first, second, third, at saka yung last three LGU para awareness uh, doon sa mismo community at saka LGU na tatamad-tamad at walang pakialam sa environment. Anyway, para naman to sa, sa atin, di ba? Ano sa parigay nyo? Well, may mga previous awards. Oh, this is how we get awards. Binibigay. Pero, sa tingin ko, hindi kami masyad naging successful. <laughs> so, pero ang ginawa po namin, para talaga magkaroon tayo ng, magkaroon tayo ng uh, full uh, participation, cooperation from all the LGUs, sinama na po namin sa Silo Good Local Governance yung solid basis sa criteria. Kaya, yung pong mga ibang aspeto na yan, magiging prerequisite na po yan ng LGUs for them to be able to uh, be recognized by the ILG do the seal of good local governance. Kaya, yung uh, pag-activate po ng kanilang mga solid waste management board, yung mga, yan, mga programs on river quality, river management. So, nilagay namin pong criteria. At dagdagdagang po po namin, 
uh, nasa initial phase pa lang po kami ng pag-introduce sa mga criteria for the SGLD or Superfitted DILD. So, I'm sure po, malagat na lang po yun. Yung concern po nyo na ano, maugli ka na lang po sila, hindi na po natin kailangan. Hindi <laughs> <laughs> na po natin kailangan diyahin yung mga ito. Kasi, we were looking more on the positive side of encouraging readings. Kasi, ano naman yan eh, part po ng kanilang adult dito, uh, obligasyon, yeah, you know, you know, uh, welfare <laughs> provision po dun sa kanilang patas. Meron naman po talagang budget for environment. <laughs> so we can just encourage them to improve their systems, I'm sure. Okay. Uh, let's give a chance to other people. Ako si Esmeralda Hello, uh, good morning ma'am. Ako pa si Esmeralda Villeneva, the Wonders Philippines po ng ENR Blogger. Uh, since po na kami po yung uh, partnership po ng ENR, sa tagal po ng uh, pagkocover po namin ng Manila BS ng Misteos, Uh, meron po ba kayong mga datos, ma'am, dun sa mga illegal na nagtatapon ng basura? May nahuli na ba? May nakulong ba? At yung mga problema po sa informal uh, settlers sa Manila Bay, uh, paano nyo po uh, susolusyonan? Kasi nga po, sila po yung uh, isa sa mga dahilan kung bakit uh, hindi na susolusyonan yung uh, pagkami ng basura sa Manila Bay. At yung uh, long-term solution po sa pag-stop ng basura. Dahil uh, every tag-ulan mo sa Manila Bay ay para silang turista sa Manila Bay na nagkukumpulan. Ano ba yung uh, pinakasolusyon mo ma? Dahil uh, everyday po kasi na nandun kami, eh mano-mano po yung uh, pagkukulat ng basura. Ano ba yung uh, solusyon nyo po? Okay. Dun sa uh, solusyon, no? long-term solusyon, Uh, beside doon sa awareness nga na nakikreate nitong award na to and uh, yung ripple effect dahil na nakikita naman nila yung epekto sa pamumuhay nila no doon sa community na appreciate nila na ah pag wala pa lang basura doon sa ating waterways di tayo binabaha no so yung benefit na yun yung nakaka-encourage sa kanila doon na nga po sa kung may nakulong, nahuli, uh, under the RA9003, it's actually with the LGUs, no, sa mga ordinance nila yon. And kung titignan nyo po yung batas, more on technical assistance na lang yung DNR. So, doon po kami pumapasok, no? So, uh, uh, sa ngayon, meron po kami, uh, nabigyan kami ng budget, mag i po kami ng mga uh, uh, garbage uh, traps, no? dun sa mga waterways and uh, uh, meron din kaming uh, uh, we just signed up a uh, memorandum of agreement with the uh, Department of Science and Technology na nag-design uh, po sila no, uh, for the uh, trap yung sa waste collector no? pero kasama din yung sa water lily kasi yun din yung pinakamadaming nakukunta sa ating Manila Bay no? so uh, Uh, waste steamer and also water lily harvester, you know, so two in one yun. And uh, yun po yung, and addition yun na yung mga uh, garbage trucks, no, that we will be installing in uh, uh, river, in waterways. Pero eto, doon sa may mga barangay na sila may a, a partnership pa din, you no, know? kasi wala kami doon sa lugar eh. Sila po yung nandun and they have to hunt it and make sure na hindi sisirain. No? So, ayan po yung mga uh, inagawa namin ngayon uh, sa DNR, uh, particularly in the Department of Management Bureau, FCR. Thank you. 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 Actually, since we started the Manila Bay, na-identify naman po namin yung mga areas na may mga informal settlements. So we are closely working with Bishud, yung ating Department of Social Housing and uh, Urban Development. So sila po nag-identify kasi yung mga location, potential locations to relocate itong mga 
products and others. But meantime, meron po naman tayong mga stopgap measures na in-introduce. Like yun nga sinabi ko na in Pranayake, we launched this year yung uh, intermediary na interventions. Yung meron kami mga, meron sila dinagay na kinakapture yung domestic seaways. Before it goes to the river directly, naglagay kami ng si LG Pranayake, naglagay siya malaking setting tap, pero Meron naman din na kayo yung ideas, yung uh, interceptor box structure, yung many little water para makuha nila yung galing doon sa mga informal centers at nadaan muna ng treatment bago ito. So yun yung mga initial po nang namin na nai-introduce. Although we're looking at other locations, para mga na yan. So hopefully, hindi naman sa in-encourage natin po dito rin that while we're uh, looking for yung completion niya ng bahay sa akin, But I'm sure uh, meron po tayo ma-achieve sa kapit niya relative to this. So, conscious naman po tayo. Yung kung na-observe niyo na basura na pumunta sa dalang pasigap po ng Manila Bay. Dolomite. I'm sorry to say, accumulation na po ito ng over the years po pumunta sa Manila Bay ng mga basura. So, kaya nga po kami, ang effort po sa ito na madagdagan. So, kaya... Kinakatulong po natin yung mga LDUs na iwasan na po makarating sa mga yung mic. river systems natin yung mga pasura para hindi na makadagdag doon sa mga pumupunta sa mga Kasi nangyari po, hindi yung uh, indirect na hindi po yung maninabay. Kaya nakakalik din po sa atin, sa dalang pasigyan, tayo din ako makakalikad. So, uh, ganun po nangyayari. So, might as well start working on it doon sa mga sources. Kaya, yung zero po talaga may responsibility ng the crops to that. So in fact, yung mga sinasama po ng mga littering, nasama po talaga yun sa responsibility ng littering. So if they can only pass an enabling ordinance para pwede sila mahuli yung mga, yung mga nagtatapo na illegal para ma-penalize sila. May mga penalty provisions po sa batas. You just have to enforce it. So yun po, ginagawa po natin as we work on with IOT. Sir, uh, di ba dati, uh, dun sa may crash boom, uh, kasi kami mga ENR vloggers po, uh, updated kami lagi. Uh, ngayon po kasi yung problema ng Manila Bay, every kahit na konti na yung ulan, konting bagyo lang, yung crash boom dun ay hindi na po na, hindi na po naaayos, matagal na po yun. So wala po siyang uh, defense na lahat ng mga bas basura, water news, eh, break and clean na po siya. <laughs> so napansin niyo po ha, nakapunta naka naka na po ba kayo sa Manila Bay? Ma? Ilang beses ako kayo nakapunta doon. <laughs> <laughs> so pagka nagawa niyo po yung trash po po, uh, bali ma-minimize po yung uh, pagdagsa ng water news doon. So ngayon wala kasi ano yung walang harang doon eh, isang dolo ngayon. Wala. Nakita na, na, po namin yan, na talagang hindi na kinakaya ng brush boom kasi mabigat po talaga yung uh, water hires. So, yun na. Uh, ang isang approaching po namin yung sumo eh, is to prevent talaga yung uh, water hires is to flow down to the passive river to the So kaya meron po kami yung ginagawa ngayon na Um, project uh, uh, with LLDA and MMDA para ma-prevent po yung water health and that mostly comes from Laguna Lake, Tumadaalo, Bukoba, and similarly in some areas for more rivers. So, if we will try to avoid po na makarating po the rest of the water. Pero it's not because of the crash po. Talaga pong ayaw natin ang makabubat yung water health. Okay, sir. So, next question po. Pera mo yun. Iyo, pera ng mic. Good morning po. Hindi, inawag na ako. Ako muna magpapagay. Ako kanila. Yesterday, yesterday, pinas ng House of the Center Age yung proposed deal imposed mga hundred peso excise tax on single displacement. Ano po yung reaction dito? Magubus ba yung ating campaign against yung dumping ng mga plastic waste sa mga special mga stero? And based sa studies, 5% plastic waste na pupunta sa mga oceans. Sa NCR po ba? Ano po yung reaction ng ating campaign against yung dumping ng mga plastic waste sa mga special mga stero? 
gano'ng karami yung napipunta sa mga estero sa pati pang lugar sa Metro Manila? Hindi lang siguro yun sa Metro Manila. No? Yung um, the data would be uh, national yun, no, na, na data. Ang, ang yung sinasabi niyo yung sa single-use plastic, of course, kung madi-discourage yung paggamit, syempre, mapapawasan yung uh, production ng waste. Yeah. And uh, yung naman kasi uh, yung plastic leakage to the ocean, yun naman po yung ina-address natin ng yung proper solid waste management na online. You know? So, kaya kailangan huwag makarating sa water bodies kasi nga, uh, yun yun yung nagiging uh, microplastics, no? eventually uh, mag, uh, mag-disintegrate and they become microplastics. And uh, di ba, iba, the last study na nabasa ko, uh, they even found microplastics in uh, uh, breast milk. No? So, grabing uh, paano na pupunta yun sa atin na pumapasok sa food chain. And uh, very interesting din na naki- nabasa ko na uh, sabi, parang uh, up to 40 pounds of my, na i-ingest natin ng microplastics over our lifetime. So, baka mag-mutate na din tayo, maging plastic na din tayo in the future. <laughs> so, kaya yun po talaga yung uh, purpose niyan. Kaya, pini-prevent na yung, uh, dinidiscourage, no, yung use of single-use plastic. Although, uh, kung meron lang talagang proper uh, collection and recycling, and uh, uh, of course, it's a single-use plastic, so hindi mo inaano nga yung um, uh, kung paano mo siya um, uh, 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 ma-recycle. No? Uh, kaya yung, yun ang purpose ng batas na yan, no? to be discouraged, and uh, if we uh, use less, we would produce less waste. Um, actually, I, I don't have uh, yung, ano, pero meron tayo noon na pag nag-wax uh, tayo yung characterization and we even would go to brand naman. No? Yung hindi lang titignan kung ilang portion yung yung uh, plastic doon sa waste but we also look at the brands, no? Para ma-identify natin sino yun kasi yan po yung kasama na doon sa uh, producer's responsibility, no? So, uh, yung kaya kahit pati yung branding, uh, titignan na din sa pag-characterize ng waste. May, may, may data diyan na hindi lang namin dala so ay nagroon bigay yung mga magkamali, no? But we could provide you. Uh, the EMB has the data. Ang kapanggito na yun sa mga brands, ano po ba yung usual na nakukuha natin ng mga sera na mga... Without naming brands, ano, like, ano ba, anong mga items na kukuha natin? So, ang pinaka ano talaga dyan is uh, yung mga um, kasi nga residual waste, no? yung mga sachets, yung mga ganyan, uh, na eto, makikita mo lang talaga sa mga uh, yung mga what, what, we, what we would call that uh, developing economy pa ba na meron pang micro-consumers, no? So, kasi sa ibang bansa, wala ka namang makita niyang mga sachet-sachet. And uh, of course, yun talaga yung pinakamadaming nakikita mo, yung mga sachet, no? Uh, na iba yung sa shampoo, uh, toothpaste, even yung mga uh, detergents, no? And uh, popcorn. Um, not so much with the diapers, but if I may add one, but uh, just for the information now. Um, so we actually welcome all the uh, bills related to um, waste or improving environment. But again, welcome to the dinner. In fact, we, we try to strengthen the uh, bills now, yeah, but uh, at least it can really support one of the main impact. Um, can I just tell you that recently na inak yung extended reduce responsibility law no? iba yung, yung actually nakapokus ito sa yung plastics eh, yung packaging so we're now working on final crime we're now finalizing the implementing rules and regulations so meron ang categorization ng mga yung mga plastics na yan yung mga BG, the soft plastics para at least we can approach it from kapag mga tamang management and ang pinakado dito is that we give the 
reduce the responsibility, reduce the production and uh, improve the management no pag-recover uh, ng mga plastic materials para hindi na nga siya maging threat sa iba. So we hope that with the IRR, the completion of the uh, final completion of the IRR will be able to implement the outcome. Even us, at the same time, we will be able to um, encourage the mga producers to do their part para uh, iwasan natin mga ganito. We just completed the uh, consultation of the project up to the level of the uh, approval of the Okay. Thank you so much, Ma, for the question again. Let's limit our questions to up to one or two supplementary questions to give way to other journalists. Thank you. Go ahead, sir. Good on po sa inyo lahat. I'm Camilo Miliendos of Media Force and uh, Balitang Bayan. Is the Maynila and Manila Water part of your partners? Because uh, I remember that during the time of President uh, Digong, he said that uh, these two companies are mandated to implement the sewerage project and we are paying for it continuously. No? And uh, they have, I think, uh, a must already a big amount uh, to be able to implement it. Now it affects your program. It adversely affects your program because it's not only physical, but we aim at uh, uh, aim at uh, having a good quality of water. Uh, can you can you please uh, comment on this? The sewerage, uh, this the stage of the sewerage project that is supposed to be implemented by by Manila and Manila Water. Thank you. Yes, um, yung mga, ating mga water concessioners, kasama po sila dun sa uh, Mandalamos, no? Uh, kasi um, yung, yun nga po, uh, sa studies nga, up to 70% of, of water pollutants actually comes from domestic sources, no? So yung pinaka, kaya pag nakita nyo yung fecal coliform, di ba, galing yun sa mga Yon, human waste, no? human waste and animal waste from the runoffs naman yung mga animal waste. Um, meron po sila, kasa, dahil kasama po sila doon sa Mandamos, meron po yan silang report to the Supreme Court no? na hanggang nasaan na sila doon sa uh, program nila for the complete uh, sewerage connection no? ng, ng NCR. So, uh, Although yung na-approve no na sila titira sa Supreme Court is up to 2030 20, 20, 20, 2036 pero pena uh, expedite na so the uh, new target nila would be 2026 no? So um yung iba na kanila we actually regularly call them no para mino-monitor din namin although may meron na sila mga uh, na tayo mga sewerage treatment plant, may mga area din na nangihirapan din sila doon sa interconnection. No? Kasi meron din mga uh, area na ayaw silang papasukin. Alam niyo yung magbubungkal sila ng mga... Pero meron din doon sa area na hindi pa na-connect, uh, uh, sinasiphon off nila, dinadala nila doon sa STP, yung mga natapos nilang treatment plants. So yun po yung... Uh, hindi ko lang maano yung... Uh, percentage na ng uh, uh, interconnection but uh, yun po yung meron din silang program na in-approve hanggang kailan kailangan makompleto nila yung uh, ano ng sewerage in NCR and the other service area. Okay sir, thank you so much. Another question from the media. Go ahead sir. Uh, uh, question of book. Meron ko tayo tayo, uh, from 2019, then 2020, na nagsimula yung uh, Gawa Tagaino, and then sa 2021, yung level of outcome sa mga estero. At ngayong uh, uh, third na naman, uh, paano lang na uh, Gawa Tagaino, 
ano yung target natin na polygon level for all the stairs? If meron na. Actually, yung, yung kung datos, meron po kami nun kasi uh, we regularly monitor water bodies, no? yung ENP and CR, uh, particularly yung may mga, uh, meron po kami yung tinatawag na adapted steros and uh, freaks, no? so meron kami regular monitoring nun on top of our uh, regular monitoring stations ng mga uh, river system. No? So meron po kami datos nun, and in fact, uh, Uh, wait, what I actually have here yung, uh, uh, yung winners last year, no? so uh, makikita mo naman talaga yung uh, from billions, no? uh, like for example yung winner yung Estero di San Miguel, yung nanalo, nanalo last year, yung baseline data na 2017 is at Uh, yung isang monitoring station namin doon, we call it San Rafael. Uh, 2017 is 5.5 billion. And then by the third quarter of 2022, uh, nasa 1.7 billion. But of course, sobrang malayo pa talaga yung doon sa ito natin. Pero kitang-kita mo yung ang laki-laki talaga. Ano ba yung It's more on the most improved. You want to improve. Diba? The, the, ano, the, the, the aesthetic, no? And, and bonus na talaga, itong, itong nakita namin na nag-improve din ang level ng polyform. Pero talaga super layo pa, because it's an estero, super layo talaga sa desired na, na ano ba yung uh, mandato natin na kailangan. Yung 200, diba? 200 lang. Imagine yeah. lang. Ipak yung, yung Manila Bay, nag-improve na rin yung sa dagat is 100, no? Manali lang. Pero, bumaba na tayo into thousands from millions. So, kaya may mga tinatawag kami mga billionaires row, millionaires row. Pero actually, yung pinag-usapan natin, hindi yung kayamanan ng mga tao bang bang the polyform in the ano. Kaya nga nagkaroon tayo ng expediting it. So itong sinasabi ni Sinampo ni Engineer Jean no, na, na lugar, bonus na bonus na talaga yun na from billion na gumanon lang ng hindi na hundred billions pati. Talagang pero millions pa rin still bagsak, no? Pero yun, kaya dito sa gawad ng Ilog, we start small steps going to bigger uh, goals, di ba? Mas so, kama ng 200 yung target? Uh, 200. Okay. Okay. Thank you po. So last two questions, uh, yung mga questions po natin ay iba to naman natin regarding our event for today, regarding the GPI 3.0, no? So, any more questions from the media vault? Last two questions. Okay, wala na po. So, thank you so much ladies and gentlemen. We appreciate your time and interest by asking relevant questions. I now officially conclude the Q&A session of this program. So once again, we extend our gratitude to everyone present today. We We greatly value the role of journalism as well as our bloggers as you empower our citizens to be informed individuals and help make them inform, make informed choices to function in our society. We hope to encourage collaborative efforts within our community with the goal to rehabilitate, clean and preserve the waters of Manila Bay for today and for the future generations. We will now close the program by seeing the EENR play. Again, this is been your host, Michael Alcaraz from the Dinner and Sorry. Some of my friends in Arizona. Please. Hello. 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 Meron na ba sila na-penalize? Civil? Anti-static? At saka criminal? Nagpupukay sila sa mandamos ng Supreme Court. 